happy Saturday, everybody. Happy Saturday, Megs. Hey, Greg. Greg's back again. Greg's going to be hanging out with me until until we get Sarah to come back home. She's run away from home. Did we get a real host. She packed, <laughs> yeah, she packed her little bag and left. Oh. How are you today, Greg? I'm doing fine. How are you, Megs? I'm doing great. You know what? What? It's snowing. It is snowing. It's snowing out here. Oh, it just stopped snowing, and now it's bright and sunny, but it's going to start snowing again. Oh, it is so snowing out there. Uh, <laughs> but, but for me, I can't just turn around. I have to lean over and look down and around to see out the window. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Hillary's here. Hey, Hillary from uh, Wales. Janine mm -hmm. Lee Eiselman Goodson is here from Middle Tennessee. Yo, Chris. Hey, Chris Ferriello. Tommy <laughs> Buck. Louisiana, partly cloudy and 64 degrees. Hillary says it's mm. cold and windy here today. Went mm. for a walk, called at my son's house. Called at my son's house. That's such a British thing to say. Or yes, walk. yes. So people are are either going to be here. We're getting close to the Christmas season. Have you got your yeah. Christmas shopping done? Uh, no. 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 <laughs> Have you? I, I, I have a problem trying to buy gifts for my spousal unit. And the other day, the spousal unit went out and bought gifts for me to give. And actually sure. bought a gift I had already bought. Oh so my. I have to return mine. So, Well, that, that means you're thinking I'm along the same line. So that's good news. Yeah, right? that's a good thing. But, you know, right, there was right, only yeah. one, one thing there. <laughs> Janine Hi, says Kathy. it's 57. Hey, Kathy. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Hey, Greg. Do yeah. you have any family sayings in your family that are interesting or that you oh, think my. are worthy of sharing? Sharing family sayings. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of anything offhand. Words uh, of wisdom passed Words down of wisdom. Well, I mean, one thing that my, my parents always did say is, you know, whenever you do something, you know, do it 100%, you know, put everything into it. And um, so that's what I always try to do. So 100%. I agree with that. I yeah. agree with that. N none of that kind of wishy-washy stuff. That's so right, the, yeah. the question of the week this week is, do you have any words of wisdom that have been passed down? If the people in the chat have um, mm -hmm. stuff, we I see Patricia's come in. Hey, Pip. Hey. Morning, Pip. So good to see you. I'm sending you a big hug, Pip. <laughs> uh, John Tyner's come in. Willa Dean. Hey, Willa Dean. Nice. So, uh, you guys, if you have uh, words of wisdom passed down in your family, post those and Greg mm -hmm. will get them up. Mm. Remember how to do that, Greg? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the control now. Let's see. Tommy Bach, who's in the chat, says the words of wisdom that he had were obey the Lord, follow the Ten Commandments, always be a learning, mm -hmm. work hard, eat right, exercise, plenty of rest. You sound like my doctor. <laughs> Tommy Buck's yeah, really. words of wisdom, be kind. Nice. Always look to see from another person's point of view. Do you know what my grandmother always said? And I'm going to say it in her What'd voice. She, she had a <laughs> surgery when she was younger and her vocal cords got messed up. She would say, we don't do that in our family. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing that we don't do in our family, but yeah. I was doing it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Better let's stop see. doing it. Frugality from my great grandfather Thomas McCleary. Save your pennies on the small things and you will have dollars for the big things. Mm -hmm. We had that, like a penny saved is a penny mm -hmm. earned. Yeah. Uh, that's great. And I love this one um, from uh, J Janet Gunn. I once gets nothing. I've heard that. <laughs> ah, Chris. Chris. <laughs> that's funny, Chris. <laughs> um, so, and I've always heard. Um, my wants don't know what my needs be. That was oh. one of the ones that's kind of like that. Uh, from my grandpa, John, from Christine Miller. It's good for the dogs. It's good for you. And from her dad, you are blessed to be a blessing to others. Mm, nice. Uh, let's see. Pip Shepard. Pip had a good one down here. This is from James Brooke. Lead, follow, or get out of the way. I've heard that one. From Dieter Lawrence, wer nicht kommt zu rechten Zeit, der muss Ooh. essen, was übrig bleibt. Those who do not come at the night at the right time must eat what is left over. There you go. Oh, nice. You guys impressed nice with there too. 
uh let's see uh, don't let the sun set on a quarrel that's a good one like uh that's a very good you're one. in a fight with your spousal unit don't go to mm -hmm. sleep angry right yes yeah i just wake up really guilty the next morning and cry and just like i'm so sorry ah! mm -hmm. oh let's see every crow thinks hers is the blackest i've heard that before and that was from lg price deanna tucker actions speak louder than words my heart pumps panther piss Ooh. that's from jessica key and when wow. you die they put you in a hole in the ground and that's where you stay Hmm. That's what her grandfather thought of the afterlife. Wow. Uh, you start out in diapers and you end up in diapers. That's from James Brooks. I hope not. I really hope not. <laughs> no, we do. We do. It's 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 going to happen. Oh. It's going to happen. We start off in the fetal position and we end up in the fetal position. Mm. Especially if we were ancient graves, some of those. <laughs> <laughs> Never measure yourself by the amount of money you make. Anyone can make lots of money. Let's mm. see. And that's from Roger Strong. Stong. Gurney Thompson says, it's a great life as long as you don't weaken. Uh, am I right? Or am I right? Yeah. <laughs> don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Have you ever looked a horse in the mouth, Greg? Uh, I've been around a horse. I don't know if I've looked directly in the mouth, though. Those teeth can be pretty scary. Yeah, the teeth are big. The yeah. Big teeth. <laughs> we had horses growing up, so I've looked into a couple of horses' mm -hmm. mouths. Let's see. Oh, um, yeah. My grandfather used to say, if you want something done, do it right. Do it yourself. Don't tug on Superman's cape. Yes. Put the Paul Simon away. Yeah, that's right. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Yes. Pip Shepherd says, while in my early 20s, my grandmother told me I shouldn't get married until I was at least my grandfather's age, which was 32. And so Pip waited until he was 32. Not on purpose, but that's what happened. <sighs> Sorry. Now, <laughs> I always buy a good bed and a good pair of shoes because you will always be in one or the other. Eric Weddington. That's an interesting one. I've never heard that one. Mm -hmm. No daughter of mine will ever wear a corset from Eleanor Thompson. Oh. That's crazy. Wow. No daughter of mine will ever wear a corset. Well, it'd be nice to, you know, that they ne never have to wear a corset, you know. But Why what if they want to wear a corset? corset anyway? Have you ever worn one, Greg? I know. They look very uncomfortable. You never dressed <laughs> up for Rocky Horror Picture Show? No, 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 I have not. No. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Spit in a shoe. Oh, spit it. Spit in a shoe. Stir it up. Oh, I already talked about that. One. Yeah, you. <laughs> that was good. Many cold. Many are cold, but few are frozen. From Jim oh, White. many are cold, but few are chosen. I love that. That's good. Have you ever heard that? I've never heard that. I haven't heard that version, but that's that's a neat uh, paraphrasing of it. Jim White says, "Eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow our creditors may come." Mm. I hate that one. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, never look a gift horse in the mouth again. Yeah. Um, yeah. She always said little euphemisms such as this. This is from Amanda Fletcher. Mm -hmm. That's a fun story if you want to go back and read that. My oh. mom always left a very small bite of food on her plate. When I asked why, she said to tell the hostess that I had enough to eat but couldn't eat a bit more. I'm sorry. Somebody has me over for dinner. It's good food. I'm eating it as oh, yeah. witnessed by my, my shape. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Don't, don't let the bullies define who you are. That's a good one, John. That's a good one. Yeah. Good one, John. I like that. No, Donna Nolan says, never yell at each other unless the house is on fire. Ooh. Let's see. Um, uh, dee -dee 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 -dee. I thought I saw a pit post one. Maybe I've passed it. Uh, when the oak leaves are the size of the squirrel's ears, it's time to plant the peas. Wow. And that's Bev Spreeman. I never knew that. That's a good measurement uh, lesson. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that way you wouldn't be guided by your your area. You'd be guided by what your your area is telling you. Mm hmm. That's right. Because like Thanksgiving here is in October, whereas Thanksgiving in the states is in November because it, there's a the, different harvest. More growing time. season. Yeah. 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 When you make your bed, you have to lie in it. From Gary Marshall. Oh, uh, let's see. My dad raised 17 boys and four girls. 
Victor Douglas Bunch. Uh, one of the things he always told us boys is, I can't say it, boys, if you ain't rich, you ain't, can't afford to buy cheap, as in tools. So buy a good tool because you won't have to replace it. Right. That's a good one. That's from Joyce Vander Bogart. Right. Uh, you have to eat a peck of dirt before you die. die. Oh, now actually, that's one that one my uh, my grandmother used to say. Yeah. Yeah, that's Maureen right. Maureen Salter. Waste not want taunt not from Marion Sarudi. Uh, you can't starve a profit out of a amount of an animal. Mm -hmm. What is it? You can't get blood out of a turnip. Yes, yeah, something like that, I guess. Yeah. Money out of a turnip. Uh, Aunt V advised me to always eat the dessert first. Jen Hutton. My son Ben mm -hmm. always says that he can eat as much as he wants of anything because he has a second stomach just for dessert. Just for dessert. <laughs> so there's two stomachs. And we always talk right. about his two stomachs when we have a big meal. Nice. Don't retire with a mortgage. That's a really good advice. That's smart. Yeah. That's smart. Uh, doesn't pay to advertise unless you're selling something. Don't holler before you get hurt. Mm -hmm. Was a, was a saying that uh, Joseph? I don't. I mean, what do you, we were always told when we were hollering before we were hurt. Oh yes. All right, that's from Susanna. And then Dad told me just before I took my cosmetology state board exam to act like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> And there's more over on Facebook oh if my you goodness. want to uh, check it out. Willie Dean um, has one that I've heard before. Which one? Don't make faces. It might freeze that way. Yes, Willie Dean. <laughs> I've heard that. That's why my face looks this way. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's go back up here to the top for this. I was reading through them. June Stern's book, uh, Be the Best You Can Be. Mm -hmm. I like that one. Yeah. Don't ask personal questions. Don't pry. From Myrna Holloway. Let's see. Too soon, old, too late, smart. It's a hmm. German saying. That's from Marietta. Then uh, Derek Pringle, we're not half thankful enough. Huh. Hmm. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, do the hard work now while you're young and able. It might not get easier, but it will be easier than if you didn't learn anything about the value of hard work. There you go. Mm -hmm. It's from Matthew. If you don't change your underwear. <laughs> you'll smell like a goat. <laughs> you'll smell like a goat. That's from oh. Jean Innerarity. Mm. Lang, 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 may your loom, loom reek. Lang. Whatever that one means. That's from Margaret Allison. It sounds long, like a, a long mayor. Irony. Maybe Hillary, it refers you know to the goat. What means? <laughs> Wait, is John Tyner in here? Uh, what does Lang Mayor Loom leak? Okay. I'm pretty sure Lang means long. Long mayor. Yeah, long mayor. But what's a lum? Loom. Loom leak. We're so know. happy about that, Chris. <laughs> Let's see. Nothing good ever happens after midnight. Mm. Or use your common sense. Isn't that from the Goonies movie or something? I don't know. <laughs> was, it made me think of um, After Midnight. What is it? The cream song. Something is always in the last place you look. Take care of yourself. Honor yourself. Stand up for yourself. The time might come when nobody else will. From Mary Rock. Sam Desjardins says that he didn't get any words of wisdom, but he sure learned how to cuss in French. <laughs> let's go on down here fools names and fools faces appear in public places uh oh oh we need to leave right now greg oh no goonies why is that what's that say because it says fools names and fools faces appear in oh, public places. this is yes. a public place right they predicted the future yeah john uh, we wanted to know google... what this one meant what is oh, it long apparently google says it means may you have a long life Long may your lum reek. I hope you and live Google, a long life. Greg is doing his best over there. He, he said, it's may you have a long life. Accept yeah. people without expectations. Uh, fun is free. Entertainment is expensive. YOLO. 
I, you no. Know, YOLO. Oh, you only live once. Yeah. No man is an island if you're thinking of something other people are thinking of it too, meaning that you don't have an original idea. That's just mean. Mm. Let's see. Let's get rid of John, uh, Greg and whoever's going to pop up here. Let's see. On the other one, it says, uh, never steal anything small. <laughs> really? From Loki guy? From Loki. Of course, Loki would say that. Land rules. Oh, it's not that Loki, probably. Trust few and always paddle your own canoe. Mm. Oh, I love that one. Carol Kirch Band says, you got to forgive them because they're not wrapped too tight. <laughs> I've always heard that. Uh, oh, he's not the brightest bulb in the batch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Always drive like everyone else is an idiot. Half the oh. time you'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's very right. uh, Let's see. On driving and other dangerous activity is from Claudia. You can be right, just as right as the day is long, but you can be as dead as if you were wrong. Mm. Uh -huh. Measure twice, cut once. I've heard that one a lot. Yeah, yeah. I think about that every time I pull out a, a saw. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> good. Yes. And then I think about it sometimes when I put stuff up and I cut it the exact opposite direction it was supposed to go. Oh, yeah. You ever done that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't search the woods and then pick up a crooked stick. Hmm. When I was late to marry, my grandmother advised me, don't search the woods and then pick up a crooked stick as if there wasn't much left in their yeah. age group, I guess. Huh. Uh, always carry a knife with me in case I need to use it. My grandmother would always say when we were leaving to drive home, because it was like a 40-minute drive from their mm -hmm. houses, make sure you have clean underwear on. In case you're in an accident. I, right. Why yeah. would they? Mama, why did you Who say looked? that to me all the time? Yeah, I know. I wear clean underwear constantly. Yeah, that's right. Just let everybody know. Um, no man is an island. Uh, let's see. My grandfather wrote that her father instilled in them. My father believed that we should strive not only to be well educated, but that we must sound well educated. So even if you don't know what you're talking about, if you sound like you know you're, what you're talking about, it's as good. Yes, can, oh, you sound like you can drive my Porsche. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're the keys to my plane. Right, right. Um, anybody want an M&M? &M? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there are more. Grin and bear it. It's all grist to the mill and take the eye out of sin. Hmm. There you go. See a lot, take a lot. See a little, take it all. <laughs> Why be merely difficult when little extra effort you can be completely impossible? Wow. Never let the sun go down on your wrath. That's another one that we heard, mm. a similar one. Close mm -hmm. the door, you're letting the flies in. I've heard oh, that. Oh, yes. yes. Are, are you, were Living you raised country, in a barn? Yeah. Yeah, close, yeah. Are you born in a barn? I, I said that once to one of my kids, and I almost got my head slapped off. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and here's the one in Dutch. Uh, better five minuten later to this than five minuten erde in het. Zeichenhuis. Better to be home five minutes later than be in the hospital five minutes early. How about that? Ooh. Ooh. So don't speed, I guess, is the motto or is the underlining. So that's that's all the question of the week. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Morning, Jelaine. Yeah. Always lovely to see you. And Alan had joined us as well at one point. Did well, he did he get scared and leave? Uh well, I don't know. Uh from Port Elizabeth in Eastern Cape, South Africa. Oh wow. But Ooh. I don't think he's accommodated since then. So we may have scared him off or he we just may have scared be. him off. But oh. thanks for saying hi, Alan. Yeah, thank you, Alan. What are you up to now, Greg? You gonna do something fun for us? Like well, I guess we can look at the profiles of the week. So do you uh do you want me to share my screen? Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll I'll stop sharing so you can. Okay, there you go. So let, actually let me put this over here. I'm thinking if I shared that screen. My grandfather would always say when something was hard to do, it was like picking the fly crap 
out of the pepper. Oh my. The fly crap. The fly out, of the, out of the pepper. No, thank you. Oh no. There we go. Let's try it. There you go. Okay. You want to increase okay. your uh, zoom yeah. in. Zoom in. There we go. How's that? Zoom that better? shorts for Figliano. Elon Musk. Elon Musk is the uh, feature of the week. And so when I go over and check him out. So when I first, I, I was looking at these already. Um, and one of the first things I commented um, I commented to you before we started the, the broadcast is that his biography seems a lot smaller than you know some of the ones that we did last week and many of the other ones this week but then you pointed out rightly so he's still living and so it's being still living and, um, and a private individual it's actually impressive that we know this much about about him yep we because... probably know more about Elon Musk than we want to know <laughs> Well, he's definitely an interesting character. Um, so I'm guessing his father must still be alive because it's his private father there. But uh, his mother was Canadian. So there's a nice Canadian connection. Always looking for that. Canadian born. Um, uh, and from South Africa originally. CEO of Tesla and PayPal, which I think I knew at one point, but I'd forgotten. But you reminded me. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Yeah uh into another he married a canadian fantasy author now i haven't read any of justine wilson's uh fantasy have you do you read sci-fi fantasy at all megs sometimes mm -hmm. do you are you do you recognize justine wilson no i don't no. i'll look her up real quick okay um anyways so that's interesting you, you had an uh, interesting fact about his mother and her her family, right? Growing, flying around the world or something? Yeah, yeah. They went, um, I found it on another site. Mm -hmm. They, um, he and their entire family flew around the, the world in a prop plane and decided to stay when they landed in Johannesburg. Oh. Yeah. So that's, how, that's interesting. She's... The Justine is a novelist. She wrote Blood Angel, hmm. Penguin Books, um, Lord of the Bones, Lord of Bones. Hmm. Okay. Oh, here we go. Blood Angel, Uninvited, Lord of Bones, I Need More You, Lost, <laughs> in Kiss Me Deadly, wow. and Small Town Canadian Girl, The House That Made Me. Writers reflect on the places and people that define them. There you go. Okay. Who's next? Who's next? Walter Bentley. Okay. So, born in England, uh, Hampstead in 1888, uh, and lived quite a long life till 71. Um, still in still in England. An engineer founded Bentley Motors, uh, engines for air, cars and aircraft married three times that's an interesting it, are we going to see that often multiple marriages yeah <laughs> i think that's one of the re prerequisites of being uh famous mm -hmm. yeah somebody said that elon musk's children are twins and triplets but i thought this last one was a single one uh maybe but um yes it did say that in that his most recent one where was it here Jelaine Smith says that she Just is means, yeah. very close to Elon, and we want to know if we can borrow some money. <laughs> um, I had done like so. I'm 19 or 20 uh, degrees from Elon, but I'm also his 25th cousin, six times removed, or something. Our common ancestor is way back in the 1100s, and there's one other person who I'm connected wow. to distantly like that, which is kind of wild. Um, so after Bentley, we go to ben Bentz. John was... Tyner is the closest to Bentley. Is he? Okay. And so is uh, Hillary. Ah, interesting. Okay. So here we have Cecily Berta Bentz. Ringer Bentz, I guess. Um, which is, which is interesting. I'm, I'm, it's, 
I, I find it interesting that we have Cecily and not Carl as the, uh, or not, um, yeah, but Carl Benz as the profile here. But she was the business partner of Carl, so just as involved in the in the business. Interesting. Yeah. Now she look at this. Look at this profile. You know, a well, a nice broad profile. You know, all the siblings, and and children. Nicely done. Short write up, but it, short lots write up, of work yeah. has been done. I love when they have the uh, the portraits. Eh. Yes. It really, really fills it out. And then on to David Buick. He was my closest, I think. Mm -hmm. Scottish American inventor. Yeah. Born in Scotland and then died in Detroit. Now, when did look this... at that walrus mustache? I know, eh? Yeah. <laughs> That is, yeah, mine not get nearly that that bushy, I don't think. That's very impressive, yeah. Emigrated to America. I was just saying, when did he do that? When he was two years old. So he probably didn't have a Scottish accent then. Poor business skills. Oh, no. But he was a tinker. Hmm. A contribution to the plumbing industry, isn't that interesting? The porcelain enamel to a cast iron bathroom. Interesting fixtures. This is a quite a long detailed write up. Yeah. Wow. So let, we won't go through all of that. Multiple marriages again. Janine, I'm not related closely to a lot of these people either. Not not like the normal ones that we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well done, though. It's, it's something that I did notice is that I'm related to these people mainly through my spousal unit. So that's an odd thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was Chrysler. Walter Percy Chrysler. Born in Wamigo, Potawatomi, Kansas. See, you were you were gonna do this because you didn't think the names were hard. Uh, I know. I, I commented to Megs, oh, the names are much easier to pronounce this week. Well, maybe. <laughs> uh, that it's relative, yeah. Uh, so he moved from Kansas to, and then passed away in New York. So he's stayed relatively. June Within... Bunker is closest to him. What's that? She's closest June? to him. Tenth cousin. Nice. Ooh. Oh, nice. Yeah, Do you drive a Chrysler, that. June? <laughs> His partner. father was a locomotive engineer. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's I wonder how many of them I haven't noticed that before, but I wonder how many of them had that type of uh tinkerer or engineer or whatever. What did your father do for a living? Uh he was a farmer. Yeah. Mine was an architect. Oh, neat. Or he is an architect. He is an architect. Was yet. Yeah. He is. No, my um uh, grew up on a farm and um and then going back through, as I discovered my birth family, m many of my French Canadian side were all farmers. Farmers. And did farm you get the farm. music from your French Canadian side? Do you think? Uh, I think so. Actually, I. Um, if if I, nobody else knows, if you're around a group of French Canadians, they yeah. sing at the drop of a hat. Like. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, something red shows up, and they all start singing about the color red <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, my immediate. Uh, brother and uh bro brother and sister are not musical in that regard but uh really I think, yeah but it, going further back apparently there was so john tyner's dad was a potato farmer ah and a, and a geologist. geologist well when you're digging for potatoes you're going to find some rocks so you know, yeah it makes sense, it makes sense. <laughs> i can see how those are connected uh, anyways, quite a nice long write up about Walter yeah, here as well. Yeah. June hasn't told us what kind of car she drives yet. No, though. she hasn't. <laughs> Herbert. Uh, Herbert. Herbert Raymond Dennis, KBE. Is Knight it of the Denis British or Empire? Denise? What's that? Is it Denis or Denise? Uh, well, 
It was born in England. De Devon. So I guess Dennis. I would say Dennis, wouldn't it? Yeah. Did I say Denis or Dennis? No, you said Dennis. Okay. I said Denis. You said Denis. <laughs> yeah. say. No Chrysler now from June. She says she has driven a Chrysler in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm not familiar with the Dennis car. Oh, that's um, funny. She says she couldn't drive it because she was too short to see over the steering wheel. Oh, <gasps> and she ran into her dad's gas pump. Ooh, that's not a good thing. No. Mm -hmm. but who, what, who did, who was he? What did he do? So he apparently, there's a Dennis, an original Dennis car factory. So have you heard of the Dennis car before? No, I haven't. No, me neither. Um, but he's a Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire. So there's a KBE oh. explained. You oh. are hitting your microphone occasionally, Greg. Am I? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just letting you know. Okay. We're hearing this. Oh, it, mine doesn't do that. Mine won't do that. Sorry. Oh, you know what? It's the key. It's, um, it's as I'm moving the, do you hear it now? No. Okay. <laughs> I must... uh, okay. Well, I will try to not hit the key. The, I think it's the keyboard that I'm uh, hitting. Who's next? Who's next? Okay. Henry. Henry Ford. Okay. Henry Ford, we know. The father of the assembly line. Mm hmm. Yeah. From Mich uh, and he, he stayed in Michigan, or at least he was born and born and died in Michigan. That's a nice photo. Present owner of Ford Motor Company. He revolutionized a lot more than just the auto industry. Yeah. Yeah. That whole principle. Yeah. Has been used so many times since then. Yeah. Now that's Helen Liskey worked as Ford Manor housemaid. They have a picture of Leonard of Helen Liskey. Did he marry her? Um, nope. No. It's interesting. They have a picture of the housekeeper. Interesting. Yep. Hmm. That is interesting. Detroit. So the article is about that how he, Mr. and Mrs. Henry Ford were always on hand for Detroit's big weddings. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. June says that one of her people, Frank Blue Stearns, is the inventor of the Stearns car. Oh. I'm going to look that up. You keep going. Okay, I'll keep going. I haven't heard of the Stearns car, but then I have another so. We just did it. <laughs> And then we have Asar Thorvald Nathaniel Asar Gabrielson. Um, I don't know how that, if I pronounce that close enough, but he was born in uh, Sweden, I think. Is that Swedish for Sweden? Gunnarstad, Korsberga, Vastur. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Berga. <laughs> I, I haven't brushed up on my Swedish, so I don't know. Boy, the Stern's car, <laughs> it looks like Cruella de Vil's car. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's hilarious. That's great. I'll show it when we get done. Ah, okay. So it's not a Gabrielson car. It's a Volvo that he's associated with. Co-founder yes, of Volvo. Yes, Volvo. Yes. Speeden. Speeden. Of course. Yes. Of course. I should have made that connection. I've never owned a Volvo. Have you owned a Volvo? No. My dad had one as a loaner car once, and he did not like it. No, eh? No. Mm. My so. mom drove a Saab. Mm. She loved mm -hmm. it. Is that Swedish as well? I think so. Okay. Hmm. The, the Fords, the Henry Fords spent their vacations in Florida. Kathy Wiseman. Oh, nice. Nice to know that. Nice profile, oh, yeah. lots of great pictures. Okay, interesting. They're talking about ball bearings here. This is important. Why so would started they working as a sales manager for ball bearings? <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I know. Ball bearings, get your ball bearings. Here. Yeah, that's right. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
June close Stearns again. gave a car charm on eBay to yes, her I daughter. Am from, gave it to her daughter yeah. as a gift. Yeah. Yes, Jillian, I am from Canada. Uh, what gave me away? Ooh, ooh, I don't know. <laughs> but he's not from accent. the area that has that accent. That that area is actually out in Alberta and the Ottawa Valley. What's that? The Utnaboot? Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't. A? Did I say A? <laughs> uh, Colonel Robert Samuel McLaughlin. Oh, good, from Enniskillen, Ontario. Yeah. Okay. Enniskillen. Now, where is Enniskillen? Where well, is who Enniskillen? is he? Okay, well, let's see. Let's move down here. Um, McLaughlin Motor Company. Um, she turned into the General Motors of Canada. Oh, really? That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. June, Jillian, Jillian says, yes, you did say A. I did. <laughs> okay. I don't even realize I'm saying it, I guess. And you're Bowmanville. Okay, so now I know where it is. Bowmanville. So it's along the St. Lawrence then, Lake, Lake Ontario. Um, and, you're supposed um, to be sharing this with us, not just reading it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so he was born in Enniskillen, which is long, you know. But we're we're enjoying watching you scroll I'm back sorry, and forth. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm not doing a very good job here. I'm gonna be fired. You're not uh, fired. You are uh, here. I'll go get some M and M's. Yeah, oh, there we go. That'll fine. help. That'll help. On the board of General Motors, his brother was a chemist, founder of the Canada Dry Company. Now that's very cool. Now I like Canada Dry, which is uh, makes uh, ginger ale is it's um uh prime premier drink but it does other drinks as well and do you remember Matthew the Weissman's grandmother worked in a ball bearing plant ah oh, there we go and she has a couple of them oh. i have some ball bearings too my grandfather was a plant engineer of a cotton meal and mill mm -hmm. and i have some of his stuff so very cool yeah yeah do you remember the commercial drink canada dry no yes oh, that no, was... drink canada dry like drink all of the water in canada yeah there's that's no right. water left that's right yeah so that was the thing it was a play on roads words because you could take it that way or you could just take it you know just drink the ginger ale whatever june used to help her dad build race dune buggies um neat. boy we're learning a lot about june today and not very her much she's sharing a lot wow that's great yeah the other piece of trivia i can tell you about canada dry what is uh from when i my first job um besides working on the farm and haying and all that sort of stuff was for a and p as a grocery boy and i had to you know had to stack all the pop and and then collapse all the boxes and anything that came any of the pop that came from canada dry the com the the box name or the company name that sh that put it together was actually Adenac, which is Canada spelled backwards. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. That's funny. Little piece of Canadian trivia there for you, Jelaine. I did not snort. <laughs> <laughs> June says she remembers. I may start at laughing your start. <laughs> okay, so where were we there? That was, uh, let's that was see. Sam, right? Yeah, Sam P P Renee. Okay, now we're on to Louis Francois René Panard. For once, Paris. we have somebody who can actually. Oh, Someone I can pronounce Jillian. properly. Yes, from Paris. Uh, born in France, died in France. Uh, okay. How do you pronounce his wife's surname? His okay, Marie Elizabeth de Longoy. Longoy. Longoy, I think. Because I have that in my spousal units surname oh. list and i can't pronounce it so now i can i'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it longoy the um yeah the e the eil makes a yeah that oi sort of sound <laughs> jelaine's picking on you <laughs> oh really <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna tell you what she said oh no yeah <laughs> Boy, he has oh. a big nose. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's focus more on the profiles then. Okay. <laughs> oh, and the whole profile is en français. Okay. Is it an ingénieur? So now you have to read it to us in English, though. <laughs> oh, I have you to have translate to, it. Okay. You have to actually translate it. Okay. 
He's a, a, a mechanical engineer, a French yes. mechanical engineer, co-founder of the Panhard uh, car industry. Um, uh, I'm the engineer of arts and manufacturing, lived with his mother, Cas uh, Breda. He I'm married. In Paris. Yeah. Um, and uh, so this is an honor that was bestowed upon him, the Chevalier de la Légion. So, Doesn't that sound good when you just talk to us in French? Right? <laughs> so the rest of the, the the live cast, you have to speak in French. Uh, D'accord. Je vais essayer, man. I don't know. I actually yeah. did a, a I'm, I'm doing a workshop next week in yeah. uh, for a bunch of French teachers. So I prepared uh, a bunch of it in French, but that um, I did a run through yesterday. And uh, the main person said that well, once you get to talking about the math app that you've created, you can switch to English. So it's a little more comfortable because what? if people, people who teach French in Ontario pretty much have to be bilingual anyways, because they have to deal with all these Anglophones in their life. So yeah. she said they'll understand. Yeah, they'll understand. Yeah. Greg's wife is a former French teacher. So mm -hmm. if we need somebody to come correct him, I bet she'd be glad to. Yes. <laughs> Luckily, she's out of the house, so she can't hear how I mispronounce things. Um, so there we go. And I think we're all down to the last one. Hub Van Dorn. Hub. Please Hub. tell me he made the hubcap. Yeah, <laughs> well, that'd be great, right? Hub yeah. Joseph, Joseph Van Dorn. Uh, from the Netherlands, uh, married to Maria Henrika Reijenders. No, that Reinders. sounds good to me. Reijenders. Mm. And uh, he died in the Netherlands as well. He looks jolly. Guess what? Yeah. Keep going. Keep oh, going. No. oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, oh, can, can you can you read Dutch with a German accent, or can you? Um, does it follow the same rules of pronunciation? It, uh, it's they're very similar, but I would just butcher it. Yeah, that's <laughs> so fun. Is oh, it? So is, born. It, is it again in in English down below? Oh, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? It is not. Okay. Well, I know Van Gebur Geboren was he was born, but of course we could have seen that from the profile up above. Yeah. Uh, uh, here we are. He was a part of. I have no idea. That is great. We okay. should. Whoever picked these out for us are messing with us, and, and they're going to be watching this later and okay. giggling. Okay. I, <laughs> okay. People are going to. This is funny. Uh, now, doctor means daughter of a plastic. <laughs> he's a, a daughter or a doctor of a plastic winkler. Van Limpsburg. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh he made something God. plastic that blinked with Limburg We're done cheese. with that, Greg. <laughs> no? Okay. Here Sorry. is the, here, let me get this one up for you. That's hilarious. Oh, I, oh I just my. shut Greg down on purpose. Yeah, okay. <laughs> because I'm a mean and evil person. No. Here is the Stearns car. My apologies <laughs> to all. <laughs> I, I want to see the Dalmatians in this car. Oh, that looks great. That's the Stearns car that uh, June's... Way to go, June. Yeah. Yeah, Steve Steve says you're doing a good job. No. Whatever it says, you're doing a good job. Oh, I don't know. Thank you. Someone's being very kind. Uh, the photo of the week. Yeah. Whoo! Greg, that, that was very entertaining. Oh, I don't know if that was... <laughs> I really don't think it was. <laughs> we need to call Ayla. Call. We, we got to find out who picked those this week. Oh, um, the the theme of the week this week is warmth. <laughs> and this picture is because it was freezing cold and because of COVID, they had to perform outside. Oh, no. And so they're outside performing in freezing cold weather. That's from Jillian Loke. I have chosen this photograph of one of my granddaughters at her first concert. It was late November outside. Very cold. Then this one is the 1944 Christmas season of Aunt Nora, Grandmother Nelly, Grandfather Scott, and my father's best friend, Sergeant Charles Markowitz. This photo is added for warmth with meaning more than just the fur coats. Nice. 
Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sitting around drinking Coca Colas. Coca Cola. Yeah, look at those. Drinking Coca Colas. That's from Alexis Nelson. This is a really fun one. This is from That's Pat sweet. Miller. Uh, John Miller and his sister, Catherine Miller. I get warm just looking at this picture. There's no sibling rivalry going on in this picture. I, I didn't get to have one of those older siblings that just doted on you. Did hmm. you? No, I'm I'm the oldest. I'm I'm the oldest in both of my families, in my adoptive family as well as my biological family. So. Uh, did you dote on your younger siblings? Uh, no, I wouldn't say doting. I would. <laughs> my brother and I, um, we we didn't, we weren't really. I mean, we had to share a bedroom when we were little, and we weren't really close. But I remember often, you know, he had a quick temper, and um, I was not. I was more of a pacifist. So often I would be like this. So I'd be holding his head and he'd be trying to swing at me and whatnot. And that's... just like an old, uh, uh, what is it? Um, Laurel and Hardy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But now we're actually quite close. Um, that's a good and, thing. Uh, Do you think you can hold him by the head again and keep him from hitting you or is he's too big uh, for that now? Well, you know, he's, he, he's continued. He is a farmer, so he's stronger than I am. Now. Uh oh. So, so I, this is Cora Patton <laughs> and her sister Adele. That makes me feel warm. Oh, that's from Robin Shaw's. Let's see. This photo of Richard Lee Eiselman and Jonathan Richard Eiselman taken in 1964 in San Diego. And San Diego is a quite, quite thorn place. The uh, I4GG conference used to always be in December. And I loved going to that conference because nice going from Ottawa in December to San Diego in December, it was a joy. Oh, yeah. That's a cute photo. Nice. Janine, 1964. Wow. I like this one. On a, on a warm summer evening, we enjoyed this midsummer bonfire. The Clark Art Institute had recently mm. acquired some works by Norwegian artist Nikolai Astrup. Uh, who often painted scenes of huge bonfires in midsummer revelry. Uh, hmm. This bonfire wasn't in, as big and they had firefighters out, but that's uh, <laughs> fun from Joyce Vander Bogart. Neat. Warmth. And this one makes you warm the hmm. heart. This is the uh, Firefighters 4 4H and Scouts toy drive for Christmas. And uh, all the pictures around the ceiling in the next picture. They were done by kids from the schools. That's cool. And that's nice. from, from Momo Homequist. Now, this one's cute. This lady, mm -hmm. Kathy, mm -hmm. uh, was trying to swing on a rope out into the river, mm -hmm. and the rope broke, or she fell off the rope. And the river is called Cold Water River, and she is now warming up in front of her bonfire. Hmm. That's fun. She's also wrapped in blankets. That's from John Thompson. Wow. Here you go. Christmas morning, Gary Nav Nav Navis. Nice. Does that look warm or what? That looks very cozy. That looks like an English home. An English? I was going to say an English cottage or something like that. Yeah. yeah looking at the, the hearth it. and the wallpaper. Mm hmm. Let's see. And then we have always make sure you upvote these wonderful pictures and things. Oh, there's uh, some. Dad wrapped up in his overcoat against the cold March winds. Uh, with a photo with me, and that is Christine Frost. She's nice and warm. Look wow. at the cool woven thicket fence. Wow. Now, where? I've never seen one like that before. Yeah, Where's that's that it's called a wicket. Um, huh. th the old houses were made out of it. Fa um, I forgot what it's called. Waddle and Batch? Dob. Waddle and Dob. Oh, waddle and and dob. that would be the waddle. Oh. Uh, Lloyd Wright has this boy. That's cool. Around the fireplace, gathered for mm -hmm. an early fall evening, campfire and s'mores. Mm -hmm. Love Let's that. see. Somebody's in a big warm coat. Aunt Katie mm. and Rammel. 1966 from Bill Sims. And yeah, here's the camera. The camera that was. That's fun. No, oh, with the flash bulbs. Wow, I remember that. That's cool. Alesh, welcome, Alesh. Hey, Alesh. And Stephen has joined us as well. Don't forget Happy to vote these up when you're going and looking at them. This is my grandmother in rural Pennsylvania, one-room house uh, next to her son in Florida. 
you remember the old oil heater seen is that it uh -huh. yeah over her shoulder or is it this or is it that the old oil heater it's probably that no that looks like that. it has yeah. drawers in it i think it's that really yeah that's it right there huh that's the old that's from s davenport hmm. that's all there is okay yeah cool very so nice. That's, that's it. We've got 10 minutes. What do you want to talk about, Greg? <laughs> you want to go back and try and read some more Danish? Uh, no, I don't think I better Come do that. On. Was it Danish or Dutch? I think it was Dutch, wasn't it? Netherlands. Netherlands. <laughs> yeah. So are you guys, uh, yeah, they're fo great photos. They are. Mm -hmm. um, Very nice. I, I still think that one from... Um, I was looking, you know, it's illegal to light a bonfire or light a fire in your backyard in Ottawa because Ottawa has burned, I think, twice. Oh, yeah. And so you have to have a special permit. But there's this new kind of fire pit called a solo fire pit oh. that's a reburner. So it doesn't smoke up the neighborhood. OK. So could I could I be sneaky and have one in my backyard mm. with this now? My neighbors burn fires all the time. They've they got do, like, eh? fire pits, yeah. Hmm. But every time I light a fire, it like smokes the entire neighborhood. Yeah, up. so there's no hiding <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, we live out in the country, so we could we could do that if we want. You live in the country? Wasn't... That's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, it was a good week, you guys. Don't forget that um, we've got uh, the challenge coming up on wednesday evening mm -hmm. and then uh who is the challenge this week uh Chris is in the chat. He should tell me what the challenge who the challenge was let's um, see let me think i started watching and then i uh, what was her name and i of course i can't find it easily i know let me see oh. go to week go to gdg find it Mary Roddy, thank you. Roddy, I was going to say has Rod. It has the word Rod in it somewhere. <laughs> yes, Mary Roddy. Uh, Mary thank Roddy. You. She's challenge number forty-eight, and she is uh, of the Applied Genealogy Institute. Mm -hmm. There you go. So it's too late to register formally for a December challenge team, mm -hmm. but if you want to jump in and help, check out the G to G, to G feed. Mm -hmm. which I guess I could share if I was a nice person. Oh. There we go. Check it out. If you want to uh, jump in and help and don't forget to like those things, those mm -hmm. that stuff. Uh, and this Friday, I guess we have a, uh, see. Oh yeah. We have new changes. The draft for uh, saving changes. There's new changes going oh, that's on. That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the uh, it automatically saves your work. That's nice. A, yeah, really good. Uh, and you can do draft comparisons when there's a draft. So you can look around, which really helps. Because sometimes when you were working on something, somebody mm -hmm. else would be working on it too, and it wouldn't save what you were doing. Right, yeah. And this way, if you have an automatic draft save, it, it locks everybody out for 30 minutes so you can actually do your work. Right. Or... It, and it saves every 60 seconds it, it flashes. What else is going on? That's nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And did you see the 22, 2022 year of family connections? Uh, we had the year of accuracy this right. year. And this next year, we're planning on family connections to in, emphasize broad collateral relationships. Oh, uh, nice. And we're updating the Wikitree logo. Really? Yeah. I it's kind of cute. That. It's kind of pretty. It's kind of nice. Oh, uh, so have they unveiled what the new logo is going to be? Not yet. Ooh. Not yet. But you uh, may I, know. I can you. tell you that it has orange in it. Well, that's good. I can tell orange you that. Um, let's see. The WikiTree Challenge uh, is going to change the focus for this year. Um, let's see. Our challenge was... Uh, da, 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 da. It was genealogist this year, right? Yeah, I'm looking. And next year... It's going to be other people. Our guests won't be genealogists and they won't already have existing trees. So it's going to be a bigger challenge going forward with these, right. these new people. Well, in some ways, yes. In other ways, like some of these challenges, I, um, I haven't helped out with a lot of them, but some of them, they come in, their trees are already so far out that to get beyond that, 
you're you're digging really deep to yeah go, you know and like uh, they've already done the easy work to get back to the 1800s i say easy work yeah easy work <laughs> The uh, Black Heritage uh, is uh, announcing a Heritage Family Builders Program. So they kind of have their own challenge going on to help build out the trees. The uh, Black Heritage, uh, we have lots of lots and lots of great profiles that have been added uh, since Emma has taken over that project. Oh, that's Doing excellent. a good job with that. Yeah. So uh, check out what's going on. Go to the G2G feed. And, um, Very exciting. The new 2022 logo... Same great Some taste, great none, taste of the calories. none of the calories. <laughs> oh, you know, I don't know when the 1950 U.S. Census is released. Hmm. And uh, Hillary Gadsby says the new, um, if you have ideas for people who want to be a part of the challenge, mm. we're looking for worldwide celebrities. I already know a couple, but I'll come from uh, I can't say who they are, but yes, okay. worldwide celebrities are going to be the focus of next year's nice. uh, next year's challenge. So, if you have some people in mind, Alesh, would uh, would you? Can we do Alesh? Yeah, let's let's add Alesh to it. What does this mean? I know, I know how, how it, it works. How it I looks. How oh, it looks. the logo. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah, they're uh, teasing us. Those of us who means... don't know. Uh, Janine says in April of 2022 is when the 1950 census will be released. Okay. And, and there's there's the a big census. The one census is going to be released January 6th. And I was just going to say there's a UOK census coming out even earlier. Find my past is on top of that. Right. Let's see. Uh, oh, when's the next Canadian census being released? Do you know that off hand? No, I don't know that off, off the top of my head. I bet uh, you're going to find it for I'm us. I'm going to try and find it. <laughs> so check out the G2G feed for stuff that's upcoming. Is this coming Friday date night or is it, um, is it going to be date night or is it going to be... Um, I think this was a date night this week, wasn't it? So it What's should be that? an apps. I, th I think it was a date. I, I have a feeling it was a dates night this week. So next week should be an app week. I could probably figure that out by figure going to the wiki tree. Uh, oh, and I see us. <laughs> That's funny. Don't look. Don't look at yourself, Mags. <laughs> yeah, um, you don't want, no one wants that. Yeah, I don't see what it was last week. Anyway. That would have been yesterday. I don't know that it was date night because usually if it's date night, it's the very first thing that pops up. Hmm. And I don't see it. Uh, next oh. week, we promise to be on top of all of the latest happenings. Isn't that, the, isn't that the reason for today's chat? It is. It is. That, yeah. It is. So did you In find out when the Canadian... Well, the most recent Can Canadian, I didn't realize that there is a 1926 census that is available but it is only for the Prairie Provinces. And then there's the Canadian-wide one from 1921. Um, and the other ones, uh, anything past 26 is the property of a uh, ministry. So I'm, I, I can't find quickly when the 31 census would be released yet. So John Tyner says that there was not a broadcast yesterday. So there, there we go. There was not? No. Oh. And then Kathy Wiseman also backs that up. So that's okay. That's good. We will see you next Saturday. Same place. Okay. Same time. And Greg will be here again, I hope. I'm hoping so. If Greg won't be here. As long as there's not a funeral you. to play for, I'll be yeah, here. Yeah, no funerals. Yeah, no. Have a great week and WikiTree on. Have fun. Yep. See ya. I'll see you.